Hey guys and welcome to the next tutorial of ethical hacking and penetration testing via Kali Linux. So in this tutorial we will be taking a deep look in Metasploit. So in the previous tutorials I taught you exactly what Metapreter are and how Metasploit works and why MSF CLI was deprecated and MSF console was used instead for each and every other thing. So MSF console is most commonly used interface in Metasploit just to give you a brief introduction about my previous tutorial and it has a very strong foundation for working with Metasploit in general. So let's start with the MSF console core commands and let's gather what information that we can get. So the first thing that I would like to teach you would be the back command so that in case you are stuck anywhere uh, then you can and if you want to go back you can just type the back and it will take you back exactly where you were. So once you have finished working in the particular module or if you selected the wrong module by mistake you can issue the back command to move out of the current context. This however is not required just as you can in uh, commercial routers you can switch modules from within the other modules as a reminder variables will only carry over if they are set gradually. <coughs> and after that we have the check command so there are not many exploits that support it but there is also a check option that will check to see if a target is vulnerable to a particular exploit instead of actually exploiting it so uh, i cannot go and run that right now because i have not yet executed uh, any kind of payload but we'll see that later on after that we have the color option so you can enable or disable if the output uh, you can get through the MSF console which will contain color. So I'll just type color and let's see color let me just check if I have never actually used it let's see color true okay mm, let me check okay I'll just go ahead and select it to false and what is the other thing auto perfect i'll set it to auto so you can enable and disable this uh, through the output through the msf console that contains color so after that we have the connect and connect is a miniature netcat clone which is built into the msf console it supports ssl proxies pivoting file sendings and etc so by showing the connect command with an ip address and port number you can connect to a remote host from within MSF console uh, the same as you would with the netcat or telnet. So I can just go ahead and type connect and I can type this computer's IP address. Let me check exactly what it was. Okay, I need to run it as administrator I believe. Okay, 192.168.236.131. So I'll just type 192.168.236. It was 131 I believe, right? Perfect, 131. So, yeah, so I need to go ahead and specify the source port and the source address. I have already provided that, so I can just type hyphen s. This is the source address, port would be hyphen p443. And okay, let's specify a host and port. Uh, I should be able to connect it without even specifying this. Let me check. Okay, perfect. So this is how it works. So I'll just go ahead and cancel this because I don't want to actually go ahead and connect it uh, to that machine but this is how it looks like. You can see all the additional options by typing connect-edge. After that we have the edit command. The edit command will edit the current module with a visual or a text editor and by default this will be open in the current module that is VIM. After that we have the MSF exploits and the exit command it will simply exit the msf console so the info command will provide detailed information about a particular module including all options targets and other information be sure to read always the module description prior using it as it may have undesired side effects as well the info command also provides the information such as the author and licensing information vulnerability references such as cve or bid etc any payload restrictions the module may have such as I'll just go ahead and show you info and I can just type exploit windows smb slash and let's say ms09 uh, function index perfect I'll hit enter as you can see these are the references and it will give you the detailed information about your exploit okay where did it go perfect 
so these are the references okay why did i okay perfect so this is a negotiate process id function table it will it's good it was disclosed in 2009 that means it's quite old and uh, but still windows is not anywhere new so it will straight away go ahead and work it will work in vista service pack 1 and service pack 2 that means it will also work in windows 7 here are the r host r port and these are the ports so you can just go ahead and check that into detail so uh, after that we have the irb so Running the IRB command will drop you into a live Ruby interpreter shell where you can issue commands and create Metasploit scripts on the fly. This feature is very useful for understanding the internals of the framework. So you can just go and type IRB and it will open the interactive uh, Ruby shell. I can just type control C or let me check back. Okay. Uh, okay. Perfect. Perfect. After that, we have the jobs module. So jobs are modules that are running in the background. <coughs> the jobs uh, command provides the ability to list and terminate jobs. So you can get more information by typing jobs hyphen edge. So we have the kill command, which I taught you previously, and the kill command will kill any jobs when supplied with the job ID that is kill one two three four and one two three four is the job ID. After that, we have the load uh, command. That the load command loads a plugin from Metasploit's plugin directory arguments are passed as key equal equals to value on the shell and uh, let's say for example let the metasploit start and i'll show you i can go and load the pcap log if i have so let me check if i have my previous sessions pcap log available okay so i'll just go and type load pcap log perfect and i'll hit enter let's see what we get as you can see i have successfully loaded the plugin by using the load command after that we have the load path so the load path command will load a third uh, part module tree for the path so you can point metasploit to your zero day exploits encoders or payloads so i can just type load path and i can just type let's say slash home and i can slash secret or i can slash anything module something like that where this is my final folder and these are the location where it is exactly as of now i don't have anything so i won't be loading any specific path after that i also have the unload module and conversely um, the unload command unloads a previously loaded plugin and removes any extended uh, command so i'll just type unload pcap log perfect after that we have the resource command the resource command runs resource files that can be loaded through msf console some attacks such as uh, care metasploit uh, the, they use resource files to run a set of commands in uh, karma.rc file to create an attack. Later on I will discuss how exactly uh, uh, outside of karma exploit uh, that can be useful and but I won't be actually running that. So I'll just go ahead and show you exactly resource karma. I believe that was again removed. Yep, karma was removed. So uh, it was very buggy actually previous uh, since a long time. So I believe they, they have removed that. Then we have the batch files and batch files can greatly speed up testing and development times as well as allow the user to automate many different tasks. Besides loading a batch file from within MSF console, they can also be passed at startup using the hyphen R flag. The simple example creates a batch file to display the Metasploit version at startup. So you can just type uh, over here something like echo ECH echo version and you can just type version period rc yes now i don't have the rc module loaded but you can just go ahead and type that or you can also type msf console msf console hyphen r version period rc so through this you can go ahead and see the version uh, of the msf console that you are using after that we have the route command the route command in metasploit allows you to route sockets through a session or com providing basic pivoting capabilities to add a route you pass the target subnet and the network mask followed by the session number that's uh, let's say for example you can just go and type route hyphen edge and it will give you the details about whether to add remove get flush or print the subnet mask and the communicator sid after that we have the search command so search can go and search specific modules let's for example i will use search uhc that user account control 
So it will search all the uh, payloads related with the user account control of Windows, that's USC. So you can use these commands to go ahead and bypass the user account control. Let's say if you want to run some scripts with, uh, that need administrator access, then you can go ahead and first bypass the USC command and then you can go ahead and access that. So in this way, you can go ahead and do that. So search uh, includes an extensive regular expression based search functionality. So if you have a general idea on what you're looking for, you can search it via the search option. And as you can see, we have these and this is the best one that I would normally use. And though it is not the latest one, but it is the most uh, used exploit because uh, you can always go ahead and pass the uh, user account control. So uh, the search function will locate this string within the module names, descriptions, references, wherever it gets. So uh, note that naming convention for Metasploit modules uses underscores versus hyphens. So if you go and type uh, by mistake uh, any kind of, um, uh, let's say, uh, un a hyphen instead of underscore, it will not work. So let's say I'll just go and type search and I'll just type, let's say, user map. I, okay, user map. So you don't need to go and type anything like a user map script because it won't work. You need to use the underscore only will then it will work so you can further define your searches by using the built-in keyword system that is you can just type help search and it will help you in different ways as to how we can go and say search specific things and to search using a descriptive name you can simply use the name keyword and you can just type such as if you want to search something in the name you can type search name and you can type my sql and it will go and search any anything and everything related to my sql so let it end Perfect. So these are all the exploits related with the MySQL command. So that's how it looks like and that would be it for this tutorial. In the next tutorial I'll be starting with the payloads and exploits and that's it for the meta beta prompt. There are different other multiple other commands related in uh, the Metasploit but uh, I don't think that are uh, as necessary as these things so I only taught the important parts. So but still you can go down and uh, check uh, later on and you can gather this information by searching the help command in the MSF console. So that's it for this tutorial. Next tutorial will be starting with the exploit and payload chapter.